So, you want to learn how to paint hair, but I have an awesome tutorial for you here today. Hopefully, you guys think it's awesome. Uh, hey, hey, what, hey, blah, blah, blah. hey guys, welcome back to K Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today, I'm all over the place today. What is up with me? Um, but we're going to be learning how to paint hair today. In the last tutorial, we learned how to make a custom hairbrush, which was super, super awesome. Um, so what we're going to do, first things first, we're going to lay down our background. I'm just going to fill it in with solid white so we can get a better look at what we're doing. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to go with a, with a gray. I'm going to go with a gray. So I'm going to change that down to like a gray, something like that. We're going to add a new layer above that. And with that new layer, we're going to have the hardest brush you have, um, pretty much what you would use for line art or whatever. Um, a smooth, smooth brush, and I'm going to undo my opacity for that because I don't cause I don't need that for my for my brush sensitivity settings. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to paint a giant circle. Just paint a giant circle, something like that. You know what we can do? We can just up our brush size and then just like click once. See if we can get that to be, yeah, right there. That looks pretty good. All right, so what we're going to do is we have this giant circle now. I just put that more in the center, by the way. Um, we're going to take our brush, and we're going to take this uh, this custom brush that we made in the last video. Somewhere around 30 brush size. That's, that, usually, that usually does a pretty good job. Um, ooh, I forgot I was in a bigger size. Right, let's, let's go down to 1920, 1080. I was on 2K. All right, so I scaled that back down to the proper size. Let's go even bigger than that. Let's do 50. 50 brush size? Yeah, I think that looks better. All right, so what we're going to do... I might even go higher than that. Let's do 70... Somewhere around 70 for full for a full HD. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so with our solid black, um, with our solid black little ball here, I'm gonna duplicate that a couple times, merge it down so it's solid. All right, so with that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a layer above that new layer, and we will uh, we'll not we'll name that like hair or something. I don't know, hair. And then what we're gonna do is with our brush, we're just gonna go over. Uh, I'm gonna turn down the opacity for the circle, by the way. And we're just gonna go over. We're going to go out from the center. From like, let's, let's pick a center. What we're going to do is we're going to pick a center really quickly. So with this uh, new hair uh, layer, we're just going to like draw a circle. Like right there. Just a small one. Just a small one. And we're going to duplicate that. And uh, in, my hair, in my brush settings, I'm going to turn back on opacity. Um, if you don't know how to use the, uh, the brush settings over here, I'll make a specific tutorial about that later on down the road. But in the last video, I did go over to that. So head on over to that video, put a card up on the screen right now, and you can check it out there. So uh, with that with that new layer, I'm going to opacity that down a bit too. Uh, that one. All right, so with this new layer selected, uh, that's blank. I'm going to turn the opacity all the way up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to paint from this circle. We're just going to paint um, with a couple of smooth strokes. We're trying to be as smooth as possible. And try and vary our pressure and our uh, our strength on our pin and everything else. We're just going to keep going forward um, and just drawing a fast, quick strokes, something like that. We're going to go all the way from that, that point. We're just going to keep going out um, and keep going down until the entire ball is just covered with, uh, with hair. And you, can, uh, you can, of course, break the lines. Like, you can start here. You don't have to start up at the the um the circle but that's just a good starting point and then once you get down here you can just go and then just like try and connect them a little bit after all hair does not come out of only one single point um, but you can see how this is already starting to look a bit like hair um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep going through until everything is filled in and i'll be back um when that is done another really good practice is to kind of try and have some 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 of these hairs that go out instead of just coming against the grain of the uh, the ball of the sphere, so you want kind of want to go out something like like that, maybe a couple of times, just nothing too drastic, just just enough to make it look a bit random. All right, so I've completely covered the ball with hair. If we get rid of the ball and if we get rid of the ball underneath, you can see what it looks like. But uh, you can see if I zoom in here that we have these hard edges, which is not what we need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through on our. I'm gonna hide the hair layer for a second. I'm only gonna work with this circle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and we're just gonna take like a, a rough brush, something that's that's a bit more rough. Let's go and put some random uh, rotation. Where is it? Some random angle so it doesn't look too s the same all the time. I'm gonna turn my opacity back off as well. We're just gonna go around and then just like get rid of some of these harder edges with this. Uh, 
with this ball so nothing looks too uniform a couple of dents maybe of course if this was a head you wouldn't be doing this um, but just for the purpose of this tutorial I'm gonna unhide that hair so that looks much better and we're also gonna go through and with our opacity back on we're going to just lighten this up a bit just lighten the edge up a bit nothing too Jurassic 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 Park um, so uh, that looks pretty good so we're gonna do something like that so it's a bit more faded in so you can't really tell where it starts and stops but now the uh, moment of truth here what we're gonna do to make this actually look like hair instead of just like a black silhouette um, we're actually going to add in some colors. So we're going to go up to colors, colorize, and we're going to lighten this just a bit. Um, and turn the saturation up, maybe changes to a brownish color, something that looks more like hair. Um, we're going to go for something kind of dark though. So not too light. You don't have to be too light yet because we're going to add that later. All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add a, new, add a second layer. And on top of that, we're going to use a white brush with the same hair that we used before. We're going to turn our random rotation off. And we'll turn that back down to like 70 brush size is what I had, I think. And on top of that, we'll just we'll go, on, oh, that's black. Use the white. And what we're going to do here is with our, with our brush here uh, for our highlights, we're going to actually turn color on our pressure sensitivity. So now when we press lightly, it gets brighter. If we press dark, it gets blacker. So that's a really nice feature to have. So we're just going to go through and add some highlights, trying to follow the grain of the initial... Of the initial hair that we laid out before um, we're gonna hit overlay on that we're gonna put that on overlay just giving that a, a little bit of a of a boost here and by the way now we can turn our solid ball this ball we can turn that opacity all the way back up um, so now what we have is that so we're gonna keep going through adding those highlights it might be a, a bit difficult to see uh, on YouTube but uh, but we're adding in those highlights Nothing too, uh, nothing too drastic. I'm gonna undo the uh, background as well. Add just a, a couple more where we really wanted the hair to kind of stand out a bit more. Kind of this time, I'm I'm actually trying to trace a few of the lines that I'm seeing stand out um, instead of just going willy nilly with it. And um, I think that looks it looks pretty good. Nothing nothing too much, but don't you don't want it to be too spacey. You're gonna to want to try and go in a specific area. Imagine if the light it was shining it would only shine on this area right here. So you want to try and keep within within that area, um, but not have it look too uniform at the same time. So we're gonna overlay that as well. So now we have uh, two highlight layers. I'm gonna duplicate that second one, and I'm gonna duplicate the first one as well. So now we have two highlight layers of the same one. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to do we're going to add one more layer <laughs> and with this layer we're going to turn color off um, color off and we're going to add in a couple of blacks we're going to add in a couple of blacks and darken some of the shadowy areas that I see that I really want to accentuate through all of the hairs um, that you can see and so what we're going to do is we'll just go around the edges we're just going to go around the edges and uh, and uh, and fill all that in. Pretend like there's a, a very very harsh light that's behind the hair. We're gonna want it to be a bit more white than this. That's that's what the problem is we're having. So we're gonna go for the yellow, but it's gonna be very 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 light. Um, oh, and we're going to overlay that. All right. So now we have our overlay, and what we're gonna do is with one more swoop, we're going to put a, a few more of those highlights in, and then we'll colorize them afterwards few more to blend it in a bit better and overlay we're going to add in a couple stray hairs so pretty much what this means is when you look at someone they always have some stray hairs going every single which different direction um, and with that we're just gonna add in a couple of willy-nilly hairs here and try and get those to look as random as possible a lot of the ones a lot of random hairs if you study some hair pictures you'll see a lot of them kind of go in like this loop formation and they go around the edge of the head like that and you might want to get a couple of those really crazy ones up at the top um, just shooting out like a rocket so that is our hair i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope you guys learned something new today uh if you did make sure so you subscribe i will see you guys in the next one but until then bye